Today I'm gonna to share with you guys how I grow pea microgreens just like this using our deep sprouting tray kit. So stay tuned for the video. To start this grow, we are going to add 180 grams total of dry pea seed to a container for soaking. We're using our sprouting jars for the soak since they are designed for this process and easy to fill and drain. Fill the container with water using a ratio of at least three to one for water to seed. The seeds should be fully submerged even while they absorb the water and grow in size. After the pea seeds have soaked for eight to 12 hours, we are going to drain the excess water. We fill our bottom tray with two cups of water to keep the seeds humid as they sprout into microgreens. Pour all the seed on your tray and give the tray a good shake or pat down to flatten out the seeds. We then like to mist our peas with some water or a prophylactic spray. Place the humidity dome upside down so that the lid is in contact with the seeds. On day three, we are seeing longer root growth, but notice our edges were drying out a little, so we misted them with some more water. Make sure to check the water daily and top off as needed to keep the roots submerged. By day five, we had some peas standing up and it was time for the next step. First, we needed to refresh the water in the tray with two new cups of water. This way, it doesn't become stagnant. After doing this, we then reverse the lid into a humidity dome and introduce the tray to a light source on our countertop. Day six and seven, the peas really begin to grow vertically. On day seven, we remove the humidity dome since the peas are lifting it off the tray. As usual, we like to refresh the tray reservoir with two cups of fresh water. You can also use ocean solution water. We like to rotate our trays 180 degrees daily so that the light distribution is balanced and the plants don't lean only to one side. As the grow continues, remember to rotate and water as needed. By day 10, these peas are ready for harvest and look so abundant, especially next to our other microgreens. Personally, we prefer using a sharp knife like this one to harvest our microgreens, but you can also use scissors if it's easier for you. We also like to harvest our peas into a bowl on top of a scale so we get an idea of how much produce we are able to grow within 10 days. We got a total harvest weight of 352 grams of pea microgreens from this tray. To remove the microgreen leftovers, you can use a plastic scraper like the one we offer in our kits and on our website. You could also use a knife, but you may damage your tray or mesh by doing so. Well, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you're curious where to get this grow kit, we sell it on www.onthegrow.net, or you can check the description down below. We'll have it linked for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, we will try to answer them as soon as we possibly can. And be sure to follow us on social media. We are at On The Grow Farms on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you guys so much and keep on believing.